listeners and viewers, welcome to another episode of Invo Talks. This is Swatma Suhair, your host for today. And today I have amazing Benjamin with us. He is from Darewise. I'm not going to take much time because uh, we, uh, I am completely honored to have Benjamin with us and he is going to introduce us uh, with, uh, with the amazing startup Darewise. And we're going to know more about him. And Benjamin is speaking among uh, the 500 uh, speakers in the leap. And we are so excited to have Benjamin with us. Hi, Benjamin. Welcome to the show. Hi, Fatma. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Same here, same here. I am completely excited uh, because uh, I was seeing your profile and the topic you're covering at Leap. It's truly really amazing. So I'm going to start with Clearwise. Uh, I understand that it is the subsidiary of uh, Anomica Brands, but uh, I'm not going to uh, take more time. I know that it is a gaming and metaverse startup, but uh, I will leave that on you. Uh, tell us more about amazing Darewise. Okay, so talking about, uh, maybe let's start with the quick introduction about Animoca and then, and then talk more about Darewise. So Animoca brand is one of the leading players in the Web3 gaming world, uh, but also in general in the, in the Web3 space, probably the lead, the, uh, largest investor today, uh, in the, in the Web3 in the crypto gaming space with the close to 400 investments, uh, with all the usual players that you might think of, OpenSea, Sandbox, and um, and then, and and Imoka or Dalwise, so the studio that I co-founded uh, in May 2022. Dalwise was uh, started really as a as a as a passion project from a lot of us. Uh, we're we're all former developers from the triple the triple the gaming world. Uh, worked on very famous franchises such as Assassin's Creed or the Fable series, uh, the Division. And we're always kind of driven by this mission that uh, we, we believe in the power of technology to enrich people's lives, and, uh, and 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 this in a really meaningful way, and and this desire to uh, create opportunities for connection, uh, you know, self-expression, personal growth, and how you know all of this could happen for digital experiences. So, the the first project, probably the only one that we uh, will be working on. Uh, is life beyond which is it's a it's an epic story of hope uh where in the face of adversity we are giving the choices uh to the player to shape their destiny they're participating to uh, a world uh, a, a fascinating journey on the new planet to build a new civilization okay. and it's it's as much as it is a game because it's designed as such as it is a metaverse uh, because it will expand into a metaverse. And I would say as much as it is also a social experiment, uh, because we're giving a lot of control, decentralizing a lot of the component of the experience from the economy, which is the most obvious way uh, in the in the Web3 world, to the governance and eventually the decision of uh, what will come and what will be added to the experience later. Mm, that's very amazing. Uh, I guess the uh, the turn we are taking, I must say, in the gaming and the worst world is kind of really interesting. Uh, it's I would say it is also uh, promoting more inclusion uh, for the people. Uh, so um, coming towards the leap, um, tell us about your plans about the deep. Um, any chances we can meet you there? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm I'm going to be uh, spending the whole week uh, in Saudi uh, for for a week, but also to you know meet and entertain the relationship that I already started building not so long ago, uh, because I was here uh, a month ago already, and I've been really uh, blown away by my trip, um, the um, the like the the level of uh, knowledge from the people I met uh, when it comes to. You know, technology, entertainment, uh, metaverse was really was really interesting, and uh, I think there's a great energy, great dynamic um, happening right now in Saudi Arabia. So uh, when when we reached out uh, asking if I would be interested to participate, uh, yeah, it did, it did take it didn't take long for me to answer. Mm. Yeah, you're completely right. So the Arab and the whole uh, land, uh, Arab land is uh, unfolding, I must say, in uh, terms of startups because uh, startups and the whole technology world because 
uh, I was reading uh, somewhere that startups are quite, uh, there's quite a vibrant landscape of startups in Saudi Arabia, and that's quite interesting. Um, so it in was own team will be very happy to meet you there. And I hope uh, we get a chance uh, to spend some time together. Um, so you were speaking on uh, creative economy, as you said. Uh, so uh, what aspects uh, do you plan to cover there? Just pointers for our audience. So as it will be a panel, it will depend on the question that the, the moderator will, will ask, but I think it's inevitable to talk about, you know, like this, this, uh, very inspiring or exciting concept of the creator economy, how does it really translate? You know, what, what does it mean concretely when you're really trying to put it in, in, in motion? Because that's great on paper, but, but what does it mean and how far it can go? Um, and they always were really like fascinated by this opportunity where, you know, we're all MMO natives and they're wise and including myself, we, we've been living in these worlds, these virtual worlds for a long time, but without really the opportunity to actively participate to an economy, because for some reason, the publishers were kind of preventing this all the time and we had to go on gray or black markets to be able to do this. Now, this idea of uh, participating for real, you know, in a meaningful way where that can help you earning a disposable income is very interesting. And what is also interesting is the dynamics that it creates, you know, and the difference in the relationship um, that we, that, that how the relationship between all the stakeholders from, you know, the developer, the publisher, but also the players uh, will change. So I'm sure we'll cover this a lot. I, I know there are some very interesting uh, panelists with me that, of course, I will have very strong opinion about that. Looking forward to that discussion. Uh, you uh, mentioned some interesting uh, points and the questions just popped up in my mind. How Metaverse is uh, going to, I must say, support uh, the creative economy? Um, because there is going to be a lot of room there. What do you think? What what are what is your opinion about this? Well, so I think first the the word creator economy might change over time because right now the 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 very um, common concept that we think of is the economy of people creating new content. But uh, as we're moving into these worlds that are powered by NFTs and ERC twenty tokens, the economy can also be about people participating to the life of the world, which in a way makes them creators. So if I go back to life beyond, if tomorrow I build a farm and I start, uh, you know, uh, planting seed, harvesting my crops, selling the output of my labor, am I a creator? I think so. You're not per se creating in a 3D software but you are creating in the world. You're creating the carrot that did not exist before you planted the seed. So the definition of creator will change over time. What is fascinating is the idea that um, these activities that people might disregard saying, oh, they don't create any tangible value. Well, I think they do. I think they create a lot of value because in our world today, which is not about survival anymore, you know, we're not struggling for food and uh, and for security, thank God, then we are, uh, our Maslow pyramid is very different. We're searching for, for other things. So I think this is where the conversation can be. You know, what does it imply? And definitely it's, we're, we're at the very beginning of this whole book. Mm -hmm. I completely agree that creative economy is going to unfold and it's going to change time by time. Uh, although the technologies like blockchain, metaverse, um, are going to disrupt many industries also. So um, I, I am again going to come back uh, for the leap um, because I'm uh, quite excited for that. Um, uh, we are going to, I'm going to ask the question like, what are your expectations from the leap? Because uh, obviously when uh, you are going uh, at an event, you have certain expectations. You're going to network, you're going to socialize, you're going to meet. Uh, those are the primary parts. Uh, but what do you expect for your startup, uh, for Darewise as a whole, for yourself uh, from the leap? 
I think, um, well, the first thing is I'm always enjoying it and also uh, are, I'm very grateful for usually being, you know, uh, surrounded with thought leaders, creative people who have like, are really like at the forefront of these new dynamics and, and, and can share some, some, some intelligence together. So that's, I think is a, is a great opportunity. And so that's why. Uh, I'm attending, so I'm very already excited about this thing, you know, to be able to just uh, take advantage and leverage this. Of course, I think it's also a great location right now uh, to connect with, uh, uh, you know, people coming from all over the world to discuss these topics, but also uh, with the local ecosystem that I am really eager to um, uh, connect even further with you know, start talk about potential partnerships and see how we can eventually collaborate in the future. Yeah. Interesting. So in was on time, we'll be excited to meet you over there. And thank you so much, Benjamin, for getting out your time and being with us. Uh, it was uh, really uh, exciting to have you. And at the same time, we are greatly honored. Thank you so much uh, for putting this together and looking forward to seeing you all there. Great, we will stay in touch with you.